When you think of night trains, you might think of countries such as Finland with their excellent double-decker sleeper trains, or maybe some classic Ammendorf carriages found in the ex-USSR, or perhaps the scenic Belgrade to bar sleeper. But what if I told you that teeny tiny Denmark has their own night train service that nobody knows about? And that's what we're gonna explore today. Hello from Aalborg, the capital of the Danish Autonomous Republic of Norjylland. The station forecourt has recently been upgraded and redeveloped to support the arrival of the world's first fully driverless trackless tram system, set to open this year. That will have to be for another video though. Let's go inside the station and uh, catch our train, it's already quite late. The station is fairly quiet here late at night, as there's only three more trains left to depart from the station. And I have to say, I love every railway station that puts a model railway right in the center of it. And you can make the model railway come to life with just a simple tap with your contactless debit or credit card. Why does that remind me of American healthcare? Do be aware here in the Autonomous Republic of Norjylland, they use a special 500 Danish crown note called Plowman. This note is only accepted in Norjylland, so make sure to exchange it in the 7-Eleven before you board the night train. This also means the standard DSP ticket machines here in Norjylland had to be modified to accept this note. And that's about it from the station building, so let's check out the platforms. There are three platforms here serving various trains. The station carries the undertitled Kongress og Kulturby to signify the importance in spreading the Norjyske culture to the rest of the Kingdom of Denmark. The state railway operator here in the Autonomous Republic of Norjylland is actually NJ Norjyske Jernbaner that operate all the services except the intercity services to the Danish capital of Copenhagen. I personally love the deep blue color Norjyske Jernbaner have decided to go for on board their trains. The night train to Copenhagen will today be leaving from platform 4, which is located on the far side of the station and is accessed via this underpass. Don't worry, there's also an elevator for step free access. The station was recently extended to meet with the platforms for the new fully automated trackless tram system, which has really brought the station up to a mega hub for the whole region. On the other side of the tunnel, however, you will just find a boring parking lot. But fun fact, the Republic of Norjylland has recently amended its constitution to mandate that from now on each parking lot constructed must have space for at least three tractors to park in. Talk about bringing transit to rural areas. Unlike most newer Danish stations, this platform actually has a roof. Due to climate change, it no longer rains in Denmark and Benedeco has decided that weather protection is no longer needed for new stations. And arriving a little after midnight from Aalborg Airport is our 0005 departure to Copenhagen. I can't wait to get on board and get some sleep. Our train is formed of an IC3N with the N standing for NATO, meaning night train in Danish. It's a slight modification to the original ABB Scandia IC3 trains for use on night train services. Let's head on board and find our room for the night. I have reserved the berth in the quiet compartment area. And here we are at my compartment for the night. It's currently in day mode. I will show you how to convert it into night mode right after departure here from Aalborg. From where we departed right on time at 0005 for the 6 hour journey down to Copenhagen. And with us on our way south, let's take a closer look at tonight's route. We are on board DSB Night Train 402. We are joining the train here in Aalborg, where the train then continues south, stopping in a few more towns towards Aarhus. In Aarhus the train will reverse direction and head through the tri-state area before crossing over Fyn to arrive in Copenhagen main station tomorrow after having covered the 470 km in just 5 hours 55 minutes, giving this night train an average speed of 79 km per hour. The first stop after Aalborg is Skalborg, and did you know that the S in Skalborg stands for Sponsored by Nonstop Eurotrip? Watch more great train videos over on his YouTube channel. Like the one of the Talgo trains in Egypt. Wait, what the fuck, how does this get in my video? Back to the sleeper, please. Back in your cabin, you will find a tray table for the excellent breakfast served on board when we get to Copenhagen. Down below is where you will find the bin, as well as the seat controls. 
the movable armrests, the beds themselves are excellent, very comfortable and plush. And up above you will find two power outlets. Let's convert the seats into bed mode. Bedding is provided by a BYOB service, bring your own bedding. And now it's time to just cuddle up, get cozy and prepare for hopefully a good night of sleep before we arrive into Copenhagen. There's no way to turn off the lights on this train, but you can just use the power of editing. During the night we stopped in some interesting places, such as Ranas. Ranas is home to the Danish Mukai brewery, as well as the largest importer of scooters. And when combined, they breed a rare animal species called the Ranas cowboy. Fascinating stuff. I was however unable to capture one on video tonight. And about one hour later, we roll into Aarhus Hovedbanegård, where we will experience something truly magnificent. Time travel. Watch the digital clock closely as it turns two. An extra hour magically appears in order for us to get one hour more of sleep on board the train. Thank you DSB for bending time just for us on the night train. And with these formalities done, we are now ready to continue the journey. We are now arriving into Vejle, which is the first city in the tri-state area. Together with Fredericia, where we are arriving now, and Kolding, this area is known as the tri-state area. The area is named after the German Dr. Dofensmirtz, who came here in the late 1900s and founded each of the three cities roughly around the same time. He dubbed the area Tristade, meaning the tri-state area or Trekkensområdet in Danish. And ever since that, there has been an influx of platypus in the area. Fredericia was also our last stop on the Jutland Peninsula, and we are now crossing over the bridge that will take us to the middle island called Fyn. Despite what many people think, Fyn is actually more than a motorway service stop with a McDonald's. Here we are arriving into the delightful town of Mittelfart. This reminds me, I haven't done the toilet review yet. A clean toilet is essential on a night train journey like this. And you can see it's well stocked with paper, the water is working, there's soap dispenser, and the toilet paper is intact as well, with a working flush button. You cannot ask for more on a train like this. The restaurant car on board these trains feature only drinks. But from here you can get a delightful university breakfast for just 25 crowns. This will fill you with all the energy you need for the entire day. And in addition to my two person compartment up at the front of the train, you can also find some four person couchettes in the middle of the train. These IC3 trains really are great for travel at night. On free we also make a brief stop in Odense, home to the world's most quiet light rail system. And if it wasn't for DSB having these amazingly bright lights on the IC3 trains, you'd now be able to see us crossing Storbelts for Bilsen, a 19 km long rail and road bridge and tunnel connecting Schelland to Fyn. Here in Ringsted, one of Copenhagen's many suburbs, we start to see the first bit of daylight. We are now approaching Roskilde which in addition to being a historically important city, is now home to Denmark's most acclaimed university, Ruk, and is in particular very well known for its great studies published on Marxism. This is also a great time to get ready for the excellent breakfast service. Nothing beats a lukewarm yogurt drink. And with that, we are now approaching Københavns Hovedbanegård. This is a fantastic night train, and as you can see from the video, I was pretty much able to sleep all the way from Aalborg to Roskilde without issues. And now for the best part, the price. It cost me just 234 Danish crowns, and another 60 crowns on top of that to reserve solo occupancy in my two-seater coupé. I booked about a month in advance on the DSB website, and I have to say this is amazing value. For just under 300 crowns, you get basically transportation and a night at a hotel in one. This cannot be beat anywhere in Denmark. And as we are approaching the end of the video, and our journey, it's my time to remind you to subscribe to the channel. I try to upload videos sorta like this, about once every week. And you can also follow me on Twitter, I usually post live for my travels on there, so if you want a better sense of what videos might be coming in the future, I highly suggest you give me a follow on there.
så bliver det København på forbanen i år. Og tøvet her fortsætter efter et kort ophold videre mod Københavns Lufthavn. Der kører tog mod Kalmar og Malmø, når klokken bliver 6.07. And with that, I think there's only really one thing left to say, and that's Happy April Fools, and I hope to see you back for a more serious video. Thanks for watching.